So one of the new features of 4425A is the resistance lead. So we'll take a measurement here of the pressure control valve on the end of the common rail. So connection wise, into 4425A. Notice I don't have to worry now about probe setting. It's changed the probe to resistance probe. Uh, it's open circuit at the moment, two mega homes, because we are open circuit here. If I join these two together, you'll notice there that the scope was zero. So we know the lead is good. And now if you come to the pressure control valve, you'll see we've got these breakout leads connected. So we'll join into the pressure control valve. And you'll see there that we have a resistance value. We can actually measure this. So we just pull this ruler down to get an indication. We are around about 3.6 ohms. Now, if we change this to a slower time frame, let's go to something like two second divisions. And we'll just do a wiggle test on the wiring harness. So now we can actually see whether we've got a problem with the wiring harness. So we'll move the wiring. There you see, just moving the wiring harness about. It looks like we have a possible short to ground. Or maybe even a short of both cables to one another. But there, there's a real beauty in graphing resistance.